Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to take a look at balanced sentences. Yes, some writing tips. So let's get started. When a sentence's parts do not fit together grammatically or logically, the result is an unbalanced sentence. Because unbalanced sentences confuse readers, they must be revised for clarity. There are two leading causes of unbalanced sentences. The first one is mixed constructions, the second one faulty predication. Let's take a look at the first one, missed constructions. Mixed constructions occur when writers start a sentence one way and then, midway through, change grammatical direction. For example, an unbalanced sentence would be, for family members who enjoy one another's company, often decide on a vacation spot together. This mixed construction obscures the exact meaning the writer wants to convey. Revising the sentence requires that the writer clarify their intent. Different solutions will produce different effects. Family members who enjoy one another's company often decide on a vacation spot together. So you can see how we change the sentence around to make it more balanced. Let's take a look at some tips. Perhaps the writer intended to recommend joint vacation planning for close families to consider. In that case, an alternative is to leave the opening as a prepositional phrase and change the side for a verb to a gerund, deciding, that serves as the subject. Add a linking verb, in this case be, and provide a subject complement, rewarding, for the prepositional phrase to modify. So, for family members who enjoy one another's company, deciding on a vacation spot is often rewarding. You can even say deciding on a vacation spot is often rewarding for family members who enjoy one another's company. And that sounds much better. Sometimes you may have to separate your ideas into more than one sentence to clarify the point you are trying to make. The writer on the following sentence attempts to do two things at once contrast England and France in 1805 and define the difference between an oligarchy and a dictatorship. In an oligarchy like England was in 1805, a few people had the power rather than a dictatorship like France, which Napoleon ruled. This is totally unbalanced. The writer makes both ideas clear by using two sentences instead of one. In 1805, England was an oligarchy, a state ruled by the few. In contrast, France under Napoleon was a dictatorship, a state ruled by one person. This sounds much better. So let's take a look at faulty predication. Faulty predications occur when a predicate does not match a sentence's subject, both logically and grammatically. The best kind of education for me would be a university with both a school of music and a school of government. This is kind of faulty. A university is an institution, not a type of education. So the sentence needs to be revised. A university with both a school of music and a school of government would be best for me. Let's take a look at some tips. Avoid using the phrases is where, is when, and the reason is, because. These phrases may sound logical, but they usually result in faulty predication. Let's take a look at a faulty predication uh, example. Photosynthesis is where carbon dioxide, water, and chlorophyll interact in the presence of sunlight to form carbohydrates. Photosynthesis is not a place, so is where is illogical. Also, to be grammatically correct, the linking verb is needs to be followed by a subject complement. 
photosynthesis is the production of carbohydrates from the interaction of carbon dioxide, water and chlorophyll in the presence of sunlight. This sounds much better. Although is because may seem logical, it creates an adverb clause following the linking verb rather than the required subject complement. The reason the joint did not hold is because the coupling bolt broke. This is faulty. To fix this kind of faulty radiation, either turn the adverb clause into a noun clause by changing because to that or change the subject of the sentence. Let's take a look at these two examples. The reason the joint did not hold is that the coupling bolts broke. So you can see we used that in this case. The other one would be the joint, which is the subject, did not hold because the coupling bolts broke. It sounds much better, right? Great. So, over to you. Let's practice. Which one is correct? Take five minutes, pause the video, and then I'll give you the answer. Let's take a look at the key. So, for number one, a is correct. B, obviously, is incorrect. Dyslexia is not a place. For number two, answer A is incorrect. A final exam is not a time. Answer B is correct. For number three, answer A is incorrect. In his determination is a prepositional phrase. A prepositional phrase cannot be the subject of a sentence. Therefore, answer B is correct. For number four, answer A is correct. Answer B is incorrect. The temperature does not boil. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. If you liked the mini lesson, please like it. And if you would like to share it, please do. I hope you have a great day. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.